They call us coaches, but when we work with young players, um, we are not coaches, we're teachers. And what we do is we teach them how to play the game, and we teach them the fundamentals of the game, which is probably the most important thing. If, if um, you want to play a music instrument, you have to be really good at um, the basic skills, and it's the same thing in basketball. Uh, unless you are well taught and well schooled and well trained in the fundamentals of the game, you're not going to be very good as a basketball player. And it has to start at a very early age, um, 10 years old preferably, and on both ends of the floor, offense and defense. Now, in this clinic, we're talking and working on the defensive side of the floor. Um, we're working on basic court positions and we show what the basic court positions look like in a four-on-four -four scenario. Um, one, you have to play very good on-ball defense. You want the pressure as much as possible without getting beat on a consistent basis. We call that you have to apply position pressure. Then one pass away from the ball we deny. We get in the passing lane and we make it very difficult for the passer to get the ball to the next offensive player. If the ball is on one side, then on the other side of the floor we play what we call weak side defense. It is the weak side defense's responsibility to help. That's why some people also call it the help side. And when you are playing one pass away, you are in a close stance. Your back is pointed at the ball. The stop sign, the arm is extended. The palm is facing the ball. And so you are basically trying as hard as you can to keep the ball away from the offensive player that you're guarding. When you're playing away from the ball, two passes removed, uh, you are now in an open stance. Uh, your knees are bent, but you are open to uh, the ball and ready to help as best as you can. What's very important in both stances is that you never lose sight of the basketball. So you always have to play the ball, but see the man. So these three stances um, we worked on in terms of where you are and how you execute them in a four on four uh, scenario. Um, when it comes to guarding the ball handler, there are three different situations. One, when you guard a live ball. By live ball, I mean an offensive player who has the ball in his hands and can still dribble, pass, and shoot. When you're in that situation, your stance is parallel, you bend your knees, your nose is at the offensive player's chest level, you play him straight up, your body, in other words, is exactly between the ball and the basket, and you open up in a 45 degree angle towards the weaker hand of the offensive player to make him go that way. Um, your palms are facing forward, your arms are bent in the elbows, and it's really important to get down, and the only way to get down is uh, to be in a good defensive stance, your feet are a little more than shoulder width apart. And from there now you can effectively and aggressively move sideways, which is very important. Then you guard a player who puts the ball on the floor. You guard the dribbler, and we call that uh, our dig stance. When you are guarding a life ball, it's called a ready stance. Some people call it a stick stance. When you are guarding the dribbler, you overplay a half a man, your nose is on the basketball, and you stay, just like when you're guarding a life ball, you stay one arm length away from the dribbler, so that you're always able to keep the dribbler in front of you. And then lastly, you guard a player who has picked up the dribble, who has killed the dribble. And then that we call the dead stance. And what you do when you're in the dead stance is you get all over the offensive player, you pressure him as hard as you can, you play with active hands, 
and you go to what we call a two-handed smother. So these are the three stances that uh, you should be and that you will be in on the defensive end of the floor. Um, and if you can master those and you can master the footwork that goes along with these stances, uh, then you can be really good defensively. Uh, and the footwork is what we call a step or a crab slide. Now some people call it uh, a step slide, others call it a power slide, a crab slide, like I said. But what it really means is that you're moving your feet very quickly, just like a crab does. Your feet, you never cross your feet. You move as if there was a stick between your feet. And when you're able to do that, chances are that you will be, be able to uh, keep the offensive player in front of you. Um, so you put all these things together, coaches have a responsibility to teach those basics to the young players. And if they do, they give them an excellent chance of being or becoming very good defensive players which is uh, an important basis for becoming a good basketball player. So uh, I hope you enjoyed or will enjoy the clinic and you can take a couple of pointers, um, incorporate it to your practices and to your philosophy and remember the most important thing for youth coaches is not winning. It is to make the kids understand the game to teach them ethics and to help them grow not only as basketball players but also as persons. Thank you.